Hey, 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 this is the real Dr. G, Lady Karen, checking in, checking in. Sorry about my voice, but my allergies is what's kicking in right now. <clears throat> then I went out into a smoke exposed club and it's one of those places that always make me sick. <laughs> no matter how they have the AC blasting. And then what happened, the AC makes it worse for me. That's why I'm outside. So I ended up wanting to go to the doctor yesterday to check out my sinuses so that I can let him know that I go through this all the time. Every year, especially springtime, my sin allergies get really bad. Between the change of the weather, it's probably the weather change, the dust, I don't know what it is, but it's like I just, I've been taking like my nose spray, doing the Claritin, reflux medicine. I'm like, yo, that's all I take. And when it just when I say it dries you up, it just dry you up, dry you up, dry you up, and don't help. So what happened is I went out, had a great time. Big up to Nerai. That's my queen, Nerai. <laughs> I had a great time. I had to take out the hair because it was giving me too much pain in terms of pulling right here. It was too heavy. So I took out my hair and going, oh natural, this is my hair and I love it. <laughs> Chelsea Chelsea Vex because Chelsea didn't want to do it. Because she said, Karen, you always complain about your headaches. <laughs> she didn't want to put in the weave <laughs> because she said, I always complaining about the headaches and thing. And she was right. <laughs> but she did an updo. But I wanted to do it inches too. I wanted it to be really long so it could reach like all the way down and just look different, not stop in the middle right there. But she didn't want to do it long because she don't have headaches and that it would be heavier. So I put up with it for a while. But every time I basically kind of keep putting up the hair and wrapping it around. And it, it look pretty and I'm on the purple and the pink look pretty. Me even get the nails to match the toenails and the fingernails. Yeah. But me said, no star, fashion hurts. <laughs> near I, I don't know how you manage with the Rasta. Near I, and a lot of Rasta people I know, you know, they go ball at the front like right here because the hair just pulls like this. And they get ball right there and recede, you know what I'm saying? But me love my hair. See, me, me hair, me can me love my hair and me love my hairy skin and my natural vibes you know what i'm saying that's just me right there back to karen <laughs> when me send me back did i kill me last night though all right so yesterday i wanted to go to the doctor from about 11 i wanted to leave the house so i could get there by 12. all i did was reach for the blender to make a shake and when i said one piece of pain hit me my mother tried to rub it out yesterday. She, she said that the part where it was hurting looked really inflamed on my back. But it comes from my back where my metal rod is in my back. So I have a rod, a titanium rod that's in my back instead of backbone. So instead of the rib cage having bone, I have a rod, a metal called titanium. And when I say it pinches on the nerve, you see, even when I'm using the bathroom, when I'm like wiping myself or wanting to wipe the front, the back, However, I get cramps underneath here, really, really bad, like really tight pain, like sharp pain that comes up and nothing helps it. All I have to do is stop doing what I'm doing and I couldn't help but all I was doing is reaching for the blender yesterday to make a shake and it acted up. So I don't know when these pains come on. I don't know sometimes what will bring them on. All I know is that I get these wicked spasms sometimes, man, and it hurt really bad. Oh my God. So what happened, I, easy, I had to wait till it ease off to drive to the doctor because everybody was busy and basically I wanted to go to the doctor about my sinuses, my, my allergies, but, and, but the pain ended up licked me. So finally I, I start move, move about 2.30 around that time because I wanted to catch the doctor before 3, before I'm leaving my office. So I finally got there about to 3 and them still fit me in so i was like one of the last people he saw and we, we had a great talk i updated him about what i go through because i'm used to what i go through it's just that the doctor's not used to what i go through he's pretty new for me in the past few years so what happened is people not used to me like when i go to the bar last night i had to sit down thank god there was a seat because my feet burn me when i'm ready and i don't complain about things i just kind of you know i just kind of like lean up on things or when i went to icon monday thank god they have some cheers so that way I could survive and, and hang out with Nerai and the crew and Debbie and everybody. Because trust me, these ladies are older than me. And when I see them partying and having a good time, it inspires me to keep going as well. Because trust me, we only live once and thing and I like dancing. But when I dance, <clears throat> I have to be careful because I might fall as well. But I dance and I feel the music and I get passionate about it. And Nerai grabs me and says, come on, Karen, let's go to the dance floor. Let's go to the middle. 
That's what I love. And then we just wild out a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. And we dance and we do a thing. Yeah, man. And then I go back to where I need to go to. And if I want to smoke, I smoke. If I want to drink, I drink. But what happened is I haven't been drinking so much because I don't want to run to the bathroom every minute and I don't want to be able to not drive home as well. So I'm very conscious about my drinking, especially alcohol. I prefer water. So I'm a water person, especially because it gets hot out there too. You know, so I try to drink the water and try not to stick to the alcohol because if you get too, too much in the alcohol, you know, you can get alcoholism and, you know, get liver disease and all that. And I really don't want that. So even though I go out and socialize, I really like a water person. But Icon Mondays is the bomb. It was fun. The music always nice. The DJ was awesome. The selector was funny. I, I met him the other day at the, at the lab. I don't remember his name. But he's somebody from, uh, whether it's from Kingston or Westmoreland Connection. He is funny. So what happened? The things he said on the mic, the way he didn't want Nairai to put him on camera, that was so funny because, yo, the man said, no, stop me, you know, me wanted me, I wanted man. <laughs> so that was funny. So anyway, so I have all this work that I want to do on the phone, right? But because me, I don't feel good, I just don't feel good. I just don't feel good with the pain. And every time when I want to lie down, I really don't feel good to lie down and put up my feet and think because my feet swelling because the rod is right there and what I'm doing is lying down and then it get worse so I've been around people where like say, my, me and my boyfriend went on a long trip a long biking trip one time in Jamaica and when I came back I was fine but it's the little getting up from the floor to go left like every time I go left and do that little twist it comes on wicked spasm like a wicked spasm because the rod is there and whatever aggravated it at the time the little turning the little twist it just totally messed up my back and the only person who could help me was my mom with aloe and a warm towel and what she did was so heat up the towel she heat up the aloe and she put it on my back and basically she put she find the most tender spots and she put the aloe on there she put the warm towel but what happened with me and my back is very very sensitive to heat i can burn i can get burned because some parts of my back are numb from the cut just from the cut that they did for surgery so i had a 12-hour surgery on my spinal cord where they removed the bone itself and went into the spinal canal and did a 12-hour operation down university of miami but since then i find out that the one part of the spinal cord still stuck so i get these abdominal spasms i get these things where my belly swells up and swells up and it not it don't look too bad right now you know so basically it the, the belly not too bad i just ate something not too long but i try not to engorge myself so i don't reflux so what happened the nerve damage to the stomach as well and it called it's called gastroparesis so what happened i always feeling full so if i am going out and everything I, I prefer that you know if I didn't eat properly I prefer food over drinking you know because I want to make sure that my brain is functioning well and that I have energy to survive and to keep up with everybody so I prefer food so that way I can fill up the stomach a little bit and then I end up drinking water to go behind it so that way I don't hurry up and pee every minute and, and think so you see people and you don't know what we go through as spinal cord patients so I have a spinal cord damage or some tethering is what we call it where part of the wiring is off and that is the wire that affects the abdomen the abdomen and the stomach area so the whole battery is fine like let's say my brain is fine hopefully <laughs> so the brain is fine but my problem is the wiring from whiplash damage from accident then I end up with a 12 hour surgery on the spinal cord itself so the cord comes from the brain and go down the spinal canal and sends um, wires to the arms the legs all over the body so when you touch my body a certain way I get goosebumps in my arms and my legs sometimes sometimes if I get emotional like if somebody bothers me about something I feel it right here in the same arm part in the epigastric area I get kind of nervous feeling and I get sick to my stomach like that if people touch me away in my back like basically I wasn't having a headache earlier and my mom started rubbing up here she started to feel up here and rub for me but the rubbing actually makes it worse and she made me get a headache <laughs> she didn't mean it but the more she pushes on the pain spots the tender spots and the more she activates some areas that i wasn't feeling is the more this the, my head started to hurt me right here right here and that's after i took out the hair already and everything the hair wasn't really causing me much problem except just a pulling right here so
pulling but when the back acts up and gets tight from even just cold weather just from the AC like last night when I went to Icon Monday it was a little cold and I could feel it in the back I could feel it in the joints in my hands too so what happened and my shoulder so either way I can feel the achiness kind of thing when it when when the coldness comes around or winter and that is the time I don't want to come out of bed like right now I just want to go back to bed I just want to lie down right now and just take a rest but I just have a lot of things on my mind to do I have like all these journals that I want to look to look, look into and put into the system into the computer so I get my credits and that is using the phone I have to use the phone for that and I have like things to do like files to put away and and so forth taxes to prepare and all these things for years that I haven't done it and it's like to sit down and do it the headache alone is a distraction and the pain in the ribs like right in there and so and the more I do with the arms and so forth to salt is the more it come on so sitting down on the ground and so it doesn't help either so sitting brings on certain things standing up don't help and lying down don't help lying down actually make it worse so what happened I'm restless and so what I do is do these blogs because my ex-husband no matter what we went through he he advised me that you know what since I like to educate and teach he was one person who knows me very well and knows my pain and I actually miss him a lot with what all that we went through in with our marriage and so forget it he was somebody who could say Karen is it the right side or is it the left side right now you know that's hurting you and he would rub my feet for me and rub my feet and so forth and then just go back in the living room and go watching TV so you see like how it rainy too I forgot it rainy that's probably why I aching so much too I forgot the rain is on so between the rain and the AC weather the AC and the fan between my sinuses and the pain I'm a mess yeah so that's why I come outside to enjoy the, the, the fresh air and to enjoy the light, the natural light with my natural hair and my natural vibes. You know what I'm saying? So I washed it out, washed my hair really nicely with some eucalypt, with some aromatherapy shampoo and aromatherapy conditioner. And what I do with my hair is just hair oil it. I just put oil in it and go. You know, I don't really do moisturizers as much because they get fatty, oily and sweaty. They, they sweaty I wet up myself, you know what I'm saying? So I stick to the hair oil. So anyway, just wanted to update you guys about what's going on because I really appreciate you guys out there for welcoming me when you see me because you don't even know how much I go through in the daytime especially. And what, what I try to do is not sleep out the day. So when nighttime come, I'm tired and that way I can sleep naturally without any medicine because no medication helps me to knock out. They've tried medicines with me in the past and what they do is swell me up and make my blood pressure go up and make me eat like a horse so they've tried many types of medicines for me to help with my sleep and what they do is have so much side effects especially constipation which I can't manage so I'm on a medicine for the constipation the Linces is really good the GI doctor prescribed it to me years ago because he knows about my stomach issues and I used to be on like many medicines for the stomach alone like peppermint oil like four times a day gastric like reflux medicines nausea medicines medicine for the bowels i mean like i was on like a bunch of medicine i was on like 20 something different type of medicine one time and now i just take my medicine for my allergies the nose spray for clarity the reflux medicine for the ear nose and throat say i should take it so what i do is basically don't eat too much so i don't reflux don't drink too much so i don't run to the bathroom to pee because I used to be on many medicines for the bladder too and the bladder medicines don't help me so what I have to do is like avoid the caffeine and I don't do the drinking because the drinking send me to the bathroom and then a lot of the bathrooms are nasty without soap I don't mind it sometimes you know toilet paper runs out I get used to the toilet paper to not, not being there but I like to wash my hands when I'm ready and have soap you know so and that's one thing I noticed I have to probably travel with in my bag next time is some soap and toilet paper <laughs> so that's why I like to feature certain places that I go to because them clean and thing and you know even if them not clean them have supplies you know so that's one thing I want you guys to be conscious about in your workplace or your place of business is please have some soap 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 is so important especially with the corona pandemic now but it's just not it's just basic hygiene 
and the toilet paper is important too, especially for females or especially somebody doing number two. You know, they're taking a shit and they want to take use the use the toilet paper. Come on, so yeah. So basically, I'm just relaxing, chilling round the back, and I'm gonna put my feet up a little bit while this rain is going on because it's just nice outside, you know. And I'm gonna see if I can put you know do these journals. What I try to do is read them, um, so that I can keep up to date with the different topics. Each journal is from the American Family Physician, it, it, um, American Family Medicine, um, American Academy of Family Medicine or Family Practice, AAFP. AAFP is the organization that produces these journals. And basically every two weeks we get them, especially if we're a member. So I keep up my membership and thing. And what we do is they read the journals and then there are questions that you have to answer and you get credits for them. And think so. Whoa, penal swelling. Now, this is interesting. People always love talking about penis and vagina. So, this is an article about penile swelling. That could be from a lot of different things, the infection, especially. So, basically, you read it, and then you can either, you can, you know, they're talking about how to treat it, and so it's probably an abscess that they have some type of infection. Woo! After insert is anal intercourse. This is what happened to the person. So anyway, it could be any any type of thing. Gonorrhea uh, or cellulitis or abscess from different things. So the point is, the journals are really very good. And it keeps me up to date with things, with medicine. Which is what my passion is, is medical. I'm a medical doctor. So that's why I call myself the real Dr. G. Because I am a real medical doctor. And so this one, for example, has acute chest pain in adults. Peripheral neuropathy, which is what I have. It's neuropathy degenerative cervical myelopathy i have degenerative cervical disease like you know arthritis in my neck and the spine especially with the rod so i can relate to uh, many of these things that i'm reading you know and it makes you remember it better so yeah and if you want it you can check your answers at the back they have a quiz they put the answers at the back some people just cheat and just put the answers in but i like to read it because it keeps me up to date with stuff this is about eating disorders in primary care diagnosis and management Breast cancer screening, common questions and answers, diagnostic imaging, appropriate and safe use. And then there's more. There's even editorials about racism, you know. So basically, there's interest. they're interesting. They're really interesting. And like I said, every two weeks they come. So if you're somebody who's a member, who's not a member of AFP and you want to be, I think it's worth it. You know, um, as somebody who's retired, I pay less fees than the persons who are active. So, and I really appreciate that benefit, you know, that they, they give me a discount. So, con, so, con, so cut a long story short, <clears throat> I really appreciate you guys watching. And for those who listen, I really respect when you guys listen and learn from me as well, especially about the spinal fusion, which I've experienced, you know. A lot of people are out there with metals in their body of di for different types, whether they got fractures, whether they got joint replacements, you know, people have had all kind of di different reasons for implants in their bodies and all kind of things, you know, so I can relate to that. You know, it's it can be very painful. It can be very debilitating and people don't really get you sometime when you're miserable or you just don't feel up to it. But I try to keep up with people. I try to, you know, thank God I believe in God and a higher power still. You know, I try to stay mentally strong and titanium tough, you know, and those are things that I pick up from people who watch me and give me suggestions, you know? If somebody told me that I should call myself the real Dr. G, if somebody told me that um, I should talk about being titanium tough, you know? So, and somebody told me I'm not a victim, I'm a victor. You know what I mean? So I'm really inspired by you guys out there as well, and I do listen to you guys as well, even though I like to talk. <laughs> so, respect do for listening. Thank you for my family for being there, because we've been through a lot, especially with my pain, and things that and especially since I had an accident the other day you know they helped me to go around to look for a car so I'm really happy that I got a different car now so I, I can move around and you know get to where I need to be but the car giving a little bit of trouble already because it's an older car but my dad is on top of it which is what I love my dad is very skilled in many things so that's all I've been wanting is for that extra help you know physically so that they they can help me out with that um, so basically, check out my my advertisement that I've been doing for the hotel business that we do have. Um, <clears throat> it's the Negril Beach Club Condos, where the condos, which is a special office in the hotel, 
where we um we manage rooms for different owners including ourselves so we've been in the business for over 43 years so if you want to get married if you want to just come for a vacation on your own whether you come on the owner with kids you know the fact the hotel is very family friendly there's a pool there's a jacuzzi the jacuzzi closed down for now because of the corona but there's a pool there's a restaurant a bar with music down there there's a huge beach so you can social distance with beach chairs there you don't have to rent them or anything but if you're not patronizing the rooms and you want to come to the hotel to, to to check out the restaurant and bar you can do that and if you want to use the beach chairs and so forth we charge like five dollars so you just pay a five dollar fee to the security and you just come and that goes towards the water bill towards the beach chair you know so you will see that i'm an entrepreneur and i'm have i have my hands into a lot of different things that is why i have a lot of work to do in terms of catching up with paperwork but because i'm in pain like i say and i need to get some rest like right now i just feel for just really go back to lie down right now you know i just go with how my body feels and then i can always do this later so with that in mind just be grateful for what you're going to you know just be grateful for what you have guys and be grateful that you do you know even if you do live in pain like me or going worse going to worse than me you know i just want you to know you're not alone you know a lot of people go through a lot of different things and think that they're alone or get really depressed and sad and i don't want you to feel that way just know that i'm here for you and if you want to talk to somebody you can reach out to me there's a lot of people who call me and just want to hail me up or just want to check on me to see if i'm fine and i really appreciate that that's what i tell my family is that i have a lot of strangers i have a lot of friends like acquaintances or old friends who i haven't talked to in ages and that's what keeps me going every day i catch up with people all the time <laughs> people tell me about their life you know whether and they're all over the world and then I, I've been home from 2013 watching social media. So I've been kind of, I'm used to social media and the phone for like, for like what now, seven years now where I've been home. And a lot of people just started to be home or be, be more, you know, be more aware and more attentive to social media now that they really have to go home. So yeah, so same with me near I, I went from Icon Monday straight to my bed because <laughs> I was so tired. But I, at least we dance a little bit and at least I got to see you guys because I haven't seen you in a long time as well. So big up and bless up to all the promoters out there and everybody who's keeping us happy. I miss going to church as well. I used to go to church, Methodist church and thing and been checking out all of them little things, you know, because I like church too, you know, man, especially when they have music. I like the fellowship. I used to be a part of Methodist church, but I like church I got and the whole music thing. But with my headache them nowadays, I really realize the noise and the drum them, certain noise too much for my headache. Like when I was in the bar last night at Tip Top, it was nice. It was Cowfoot Monday last night. But the way the speaker was, it's, the, it's a certain tone, certain frequency, bothers my ear and I couldn't stand it anymore. I really had to leave. But I really love the bar scene, it's no problem, but I'm not a big drinker. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not a big drinker still. <clears throat> and the music was too much for me for that small space, you know, it was too loud. So, yeah, people don't understand about my headache and my pain. So they could tell that I was a bit uncomfortable. And then every minute people see me in pain, want to come and touch and stuff and rub me down. And I really don't like that. I don't like people who I don't know to be trying to touch me and, to, you know, touch at me and stuff like that. I don't like that. And if my boyfriend was around, he would be, like, really upset about that too. He, you know, we don't like, yeah, we don't like the talking and touching thing. But it's a cultural stuff thing too, and especially if people see you uncomfortable, nothing's wrong to reach out and be like, hey, do you want help? But some people just want to just touch without asking, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I kind of stay to my corner myself, and I try not to like, <laughs> I try not to like go into the crowd. If you notice me, I kind of stay to myself to, by the wall or to a corner somewhere so that I'm not in the crowd. Because I don't want nobody brushing on my back where the metal rod is and, and stuff as well. But I'll hail up people and hey, 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 and hail up people and do my rounds and go around. But, you know, or if people say come on and stay by them, you know, by their table, then I don't mind. But if you get too crowded and too congested where I can't dance, then I move from there easily. Me and Nera are like that. We, we like to dance and free up. We like our space to just free up and just dance and just feel the music. You know what I mean? So music is medicine is one of the hashtags that I share 
his music is medicine and what I do is endorse different places, different events, you know, different things. So that is what I do as a part of my blogging. That's just my style. So hopefully you like my style, you know, I won't be talking to you till you're too long today because you see how it's raining. One piece of rain. So I'm going to post this to my Instagram right now so that way they can see what's up. Big up to Sky Hollywood over there on Instagram. She always a big me up and a mess with me. I tease me how I'm putting up pictures with, you know, <laughs> teasing you guys with my pictures. So there are people out there who mess with me all the time and put me on the spot and I love them saying it's all right. There are people who tease me about my hairy skin and all that and I shave my underarm just for them. I'm just kidding. I did it for me because I just wanted to. But yeah, when it grow back in that way, shape for a while. <laughs> anyway, later because it's raining, you see how it's loud? I don't want to be too loud. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Alright? Oh, love from the real Dr. G. Little more. And share my life for me. Just share this life for me. Just hit share, 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 share. Share, share. Share my life for me so that way I get my blogs out there. And people can know about spinal fusion and what our, sp our spinal cord patients go through. All right. So without repeating too much detail, you know that's enough. Um, for those of you who haven't heard, um, seen my blogs and vlogs before, you can go back into my videos, my old videos, and learn more about what I do and where I go and stuff like that. Whenever I have the energy and the time. But my, cause my son right now we're on summer, and my son is with his dad right now until um, for the whole of June. So I'm free up without worrying about my son and what's nice about living with family is when I have those bad days that's why I love my family so much like my mom and dad because when I have those bad days where I really don't want to come out of the bed they're there for me to help me with the food for my son to make sure we have food and so forth prepared and things because the cooking puts a toll on me like I really do I really do have a lot of pain when I cook and that is what caused the problem yesterday it's just reaching for the blender and just reaching for something so holding up the pots and so forth it just really puts a toll on me but I love cooking I used to cook a lot and I used to cook all the time and experiment with different things because I, and that's just how I am you know and especially the grill too I used to do a lot of chicken breasts on the grill and cut up chicken breasts with a lot of things but my whole nutrition changed since this illness is like the whole my whole, in, in, um, like I said, the whole, the whole way I eat and drink and everything is just affected by the nerves. It's the nerve damage that make me feel that way. I make me just don't really want to eat. It's like I don't want to eat anything. I really don't have an appetite. But when the, the, the day is going by, I'm getting more tired and more, you know. If it wasn't for you was in the bathroom and eating, I would be in bed all the time. And if it wasn't because of the pain, I would be in bed all the time too. But the pain wakes me up. The pain in the upper part, the upper part where the rod is especially. And then the headaches as well wakes me up. And the neck pain sometimes. Or the burning in my arm or the numbness in my arm wakes me up depending which side I'm sleeping. So I have a lot of different types of pain. Especially when I lie down too. It can go into the lower legs and the lower back. And, and really bother me and things to the point where the, the muscles jump in the legs and jump in the arms but they haven't been jumping recently it's because I haven't been doing a lot of lifting I really haven't been doing a lot of things to aggravate the pain you know just little things like opening up the slide door is what hurts me a lot opening up things you know using the arms using driving driving and stuff like that is what aggravates Big up Tierra and Daytona Beach and all the Daytona Beach masses. I really miss you guys as well and thing. And like you said, Tierra, you know the rain really messed with my back. I totally forgot about the rain because I love the water. And I love when it's cool and nice. But I'm going to message you right now and see what you're up to and see the kids. I will chit chat a little bit. <clears throat> so let me just leave right now and get off this live. Share my life for me, Tierra. Just share my, share my thing for me, please. And remember to check out the hotel information and share that for me as well. You know, whatever you guys feel comfortable sharing is whatever you feel like. But, you know, go through my blogs, go through my blog, my vlogs. The vlogs are the video, the blogs are the written things. You know, um, I might write a little piece and show you a picture as well because I, I was putting on a lot of weight from like 2018 and I don't like it. So I'm working on the weight. But I got to work on the food and stick to like shakes, like certain shakes that I need to do instead of eating late as well and thing, you know, but... 
I like to support people as well and I like to like go out and socialize. So what I do, I get hungry when I go out. So I basically buy food and stuff when I go out. And I'm somebody who take it easy all the time. I really don't do a lot. <laughs> so I can't relax even more. So the only thing that's making me restless is the pain. So the pain doesn't want me to lie down. It doesn't make me sit down a certain way like in the chair. I have to sit kind of like at the edge of the chair or like a while ago. I moved and kind of reposition. So anyway, I've learned how to adapt to the pain over the years and so forth. So I know how to kind of sit, how to stand and lean up on things when I'm ready. And then the lying down, oh, that's a difficult part. Because lying down in whatever position ends up hurting in some way or at all. And then, like I said, I don't want to sleep out the day because the day is nice. And then it's daytime. You know, you don't want to sleep at day. But I can't, but like I said, I'm tired. You know, Tierra came a little bit late. So I was telling her, telling you guys I'm tired. And I undid my hairstyle. And the hairstyle was kind of pulling right here. Like pulling along here and it was heavy. So I kept kind of wanting to wrap it up and thing at the top. But what I gotta do next time is do my natural hair or do the braids going straight back. Cause straight back if I'm going to do anything again, instead of making it kind of pile up at the top. So it's an experience, it's okay. You know, I spent my money already and thing and it's no problem. And my hairdresser warned me. So Chelsea was right. <laughs> she knows that I would have pain with it. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, guys, look out for my father's day flyer that I've been promoting as well for June 2nd, 20th, sorry, June 20th, it's coming up soon, today is Tuesday and Sunday coming is Father's Day, so remember to buy your father a gift, <laughs> remember Father's Day is coming up, even if you did, even if you don't have a good relationship with them, make up with them, you know, because you never, you never know what tomorrow will bring you here, we only live once, so make up with them, forgive them, and help them out, yeah, right, same with mothers too. You know, we all go through stuff with dads and moms and so forth. Because, you know, we're kids. And, you know, we go through, we experience life. That's just life. So, love up the fathers because they always say that fathers don't get a lot. They say that women get a lot from Valentine's and Mother's Day and this day and that day. But, we, but you know, Father's Day only come once a year in June. Then Mother's Day is in May or was in May. So... Either way, enjoy you guys when the Father's Day come. Happy Father's Day to everybody. But I'll be at Lalo's as the host. Hopefully we get to do a couple different games or something um, if the boss approves. <laughs> but I'll just be there. I'll just be there and you guys just enjoy the time and stuff forth and be safe out there. Be safe and you guys take it easy. Don't, you know, don't be too hard on yourself and be titanium tough. You know, don't give up on whatever your dream is. You can become whatever you want and thing in life. You know, I've done a lot myself. I've been working from as a little girl and thing, and I have a lot of experiences with different things. So I can't wait for my son to come home for the summer July because I have so much to teach him and I have so much time to, that I want to spend with him. And I really want to go on a trip, but because of the pain, I really don't plan for those things because I don't have that company. I don't have a travel partner right now to travel with from America to go wherever I need to. So I just go home to Jamaica when I'm ready. It's easier to just go home to Jamaica because it's home and my boyfriend is there, my, fa my friends are there, acquaintances are there, you know, so the hotel is there as well where I can relax. But it's hot, it's hot and it's Corona time, you know, where we have to get tested before and tested after. And my son loves the internet and his game. So I don't know what he's going to do if we go to Jamaica because he's somebody who really loves his game and um, the Wi-Fi is there, but um, but sometimes it's not reliable for him and thing. So with places being shut down as well, I don't know what to kind of do with him, where to bring him to because places are shut down. But it's a really nice place to go, especially if you want to relax. So I prefer to stay in Florida to just kind of chill because it's cooler for me here and it's way it's less hectic and more things for the kids to do in terms of jump zone is around you know um, off the wall i can bring them to universal studios in orlando you know we can go up on a weekend trip so if you guys are doing anything this summer and me and my son can join in call me all right so basically big up to all the good dads and the bad dads and all the dads you know because all dads have their experience for different reasons you know what i'm saying some dads don't even know their dads <laughs> Some people have breed for people and then don't even know, you know what I'm saying? So some dads don't even know them become dads. <laughs> so I 
I say, go. Yeah, man. So anyway, cut a long story short. That's going to be interesting, eh? Who fought us there? So anyway, so basically big up to Daddy G and big up to Mommy G um, and love from Dr. G, all right? So big up to all of y'all out there who's been watching and thing, you know, because the more I, I see you guys watching and logging on, is the more you guys make me want to talk. So big up to all parents out there. I'm a proud parent, like near I said to. I'm a proud parent and I have friends who are grandparents already, you know, so it's nice to see how they get to experience that too you know before they die because all these people dying young you know all these people dying from all kind of things out there so we have to treasure life and live life to the fullest and just be careful be careful of your company especially because there's so much shooting out there so much gun violence on the road you know i always inspire or, or you know try to encourage people to save you know because you never know what tomorrow will bring because in one light one second my life changed from accident and then I ended up opening my practice even with pain and all that. But then I started waking up with headaches. And then I found out I had a tumor on my spine, a cyst on my spinal cord. So I had to get a major spinal cord surgery and close my office. And most of the patients don't know that I'm ill or don't know, didn't know that I closed. So that's why I do these blogs as well. And I, I've been having patients call me who know me very well. Sometimes I run into them in my doctor's office like I did this week, like yesterday. I ran into one of my old patients who didn't even remember me, but I remember them by name and everything. And it was so funny. And they didn't recognize me. <laughs> Between me putting our weight to and all of us getting older, we didn't recognize each other. So, cut a long story short, like I said, we're all getting older. And basically, we just need to continue taking care of myself. That's what I do. No one takes care of me but me. And it's the same thing about you guys. If you realize something's wrong and you know that you're not getting better, keep getting help. That's what happened to me. People used to ignore me and ignore me and never help me and didn't believe that something was wrong and didn't believe that I was having so much symptoms and pain from head to toe. And come to find out, it's a cyst on my spinal cord that was pushing on my spinal cord. So when I sit down, my spinal cord don't move with me because it was stuck. So they had to go in and unstuck the spinal cord and free it up so that way the spinal cord itself can move in the spinal canal so those nerves can flow freely and go to wherever they need to go to. So I had that big surgery in 2013 and I've been home since then. So, you know, it's been an experience, you know, and it's, it has been an interesting experience. I've been really busy for the past few years getting rid of things that I don't own and liquidating things and reinvesting and so forth. So I've been really busy. And then I've got more time lately to just kind of really relax because I got rid of all those assets I didn't have or didn't own, for example. So I don't mind talking about those things because those are things that happen in life. And as a family medicine doctor, you know, people ask me a lot about just life could changes in general. And one thing that I want to encourage you guys to do is have a living will and a power of attorney, especially if you're somebody who can make your own decisions or if something happens to you and you want somebody else to make your decisions for you. You have a living will, so if something happens to you, you can say that you don't want life support or you do want to be full code, those types of things. If something happens to you where you can't make decisions, XYZ can make decisions for you. But you've got to ask them and you've got to tell people what you want. You don't assume that people know you. Even your own family or the closest friends or so forth might not want to do that for you or don't know you well, so are not comfortable. So you gotta discuss this as well with people you're gonna put on paper, so that way they, um, they agree that they're gonna help you out if something happens to you. So as a family medicine doctor, you know, um, like Obama, for example, President Obama, it was encouraging doctors and even reimbursing doctors to discuss end of life care. So I know I started talking about the pain and my day yesterday and how wicked the pain was and how last night was so, um, so irritating and so you know miserable and then basically i talked about end of life care because that is very important i still haven't done mine yet and i still need to do it but i've just been so caught up with, with the pain and the distractions and it costs money to pay a lawyer to do these things so i needed to get some business done but everything is retain a fee you have to pay the lawyer and get a lawyer to do these things or if you can do it for free 
you can you can go online and you can print the, the forms and what you do is notarize these things you notarize it so big up to everybody who was um who was who's been out and about and been enjoying like what near i say big up to everybody like i said worldwide see not gonna chat you out much longer but just want to encourage you guys to free up and just be yourself and if you're not someone who goes out and enjoy partying or music or dancing or the bar scene the club scene that's fine too you know like places like Lalo's is nice where you have a live band playing and it's outdoors the people smoke outside they don't smoke inside you might like something like that a little better or you just stay home it's no problem to each his own that's no problem you can watch tv watch netflix and so forth and things there's so many movies out there it's just that i don't enjoy those things because i don't have a companion with me right now to enjoy it with and then i don't like watching tv because of the pain it's the sitting and watching the tv at a certain angle it actually causes me headaches so basically that's it that's a good talk about your spinal cord problems and what patients with spinal fusion go through seeing so keep dancing near I keep being a positive influence to many many people out there because I really admire you because you're like my dancehall queen we, we crowned her as well near I so follow near I love she's awesome and follow my friends on there that you know we share flyers for as well big up to Debbie Fenton Felton because she's awesome she goes on her head top when she's ready and dance all kind of ways and those are people who are older than me and enjoying themselves, you know. So call us the old fogies. <laughs> you can call us the old fogies. We have fun. You know, it's nice when people have fun and clean fun, you know what I'm saying? Clean fun. No violent stuff and no war vibes. So big up and thing and be safe out there and keep the peace. Let's keep the peace. Whether it's at home, whether it's out on the street. Just keep the peace and love and the unity going and the equal rights and justice for all. You know, because you know I'm, I'm an advocate already, I'm an activist as, as well as, you know what I'm saying? So no to domestic violence, no to the gun violence. It's just been terrible out there, especially with the corona. They said that it's more domestic violence happening because people getting to know each other. <laughs> and it's so true. So basically when you get to know each other you might not like each other because of the staying with each other even more <laughs> that's what's happening so seriously though it's a serious thing going on out there with the violence so you guys just be safe all right so back to me back to my natural here and look how it just stopped raining you see how it just come in spurts so it rained a little bit and then it just stopped now and but i can feel it in my back you see i feel it and i feel tired like i would go sleep so let me go do that now and follow my body and just take a little rest right now even if it's for like a half hour or an hour i just need to go lie down and just take a little rest and thing inside all right guys so big up our respect i need a personal masseuse right now you know <laughs> uh, mommy busy <laughs> All right, but but seriously though, fun and joke aside, the massage is hurt too much. Ah, near I said the man picked me up and mash up the dance all alive. Me miss that, no man. Oh God, me miss all of that, no. You stay there, me soon have a party, man. Me, where me invite Marvin the Beast Boss so he can dance with near I uh, entertain me because yo, one time him had her on the floor or she had him on the floor. And the things them was doing on the floor, boy, I tell you, she's a trip. <laughs> so me love Marvin the Beast Boss. When him ready, to tease me and put me on him live and stuff, as well as Cranium and other artists out there. We have fun. Noah Power, big up to Noah Power. Big up to Rika, them, and Lava, them, everybody on Instagram and thing. Big up to Sky Hollywood, especially. She's a trip. She always talking about me. In some, in, about me hair, skin, and other things. Other things. Yeah, that we won't mention right now because we don't want to get too rotten right now. But anyway, you know we're all adults and stuff and you know, I like when people just be themselves. But sometimes we have to just watch out for the bad words and the rottenness, you know, because it's not a lot of people approve. <laughs> so, basically that's just life. Alright, so anyway, big up. <laughs> big up, yeah man, and make you just be with self. That's what I, my party going to be about, just be yourself. And just come same way as you are, you know. <laughs> like how me like my shorts and t-shirt type of thing. Yeah, me like my shorts and thing. Me like to be comfortable. 
you know. So either way we do one party where you just be yourself and with vibes. But I have lots of ideas I'm not going to tell you and you're going to see them soon. You're going to see them come popping up. I just, it just come back down to the money because I just had the accident with the car and it was unexpected. So that was kind of a little thing that drained me still because I had to come up with that money to buy a new car. So, you know, it's all right. So that's why I do fundraising, you know what I'm saying? So either way, maybe then, maybe for Icon Monday, we can do a dance hall for a cause to give back to Karen's spinal cord. You know what I'm saying? That's what I've been hailing up um, Ching Money about. I was calling him about that. So anyway, because you guys have dance hall for the cause for different reasons, you know, for funeral and different things as well. You know, when people have funeral and they die, sometimes we raise money in diff for different causes. So basically I want to have like a benefit thing where people donate towards a spinal cord injury, you know, towards medical bills and so forth. So that way I can continue to pay my bills. You know, it's all about fundraising and awareness, creating awareness. So sometimes it's not all about the money. It's about the education for me. I like to educate. So with that, you guys have a great rest of the day. All right. And respect do. Keep dancing near I and everybody else out there who likes to enjoy themselves out there. All right. Big up our respect. Mwah. Love from the real Dr. G with love. Little more. Sending lots of hugs, kisses. Love to you all. Especially those who need it. And remember you're not alone. Remember you're never alone in whatever you're going through in life. Okay. There's always somebody else who's worse than you. So don't give up. And just be titanium tough. All right. Stay titanium tough. Little more.